There's so much I know about Robin Dixon, and she knows I know, including Juan's other woman. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley, and today we are here to quickly discuss some breaking news regarding Juan Dixon and his alleged girlfriend slash mistress coming out and giving her receipts about their affair. I did touch on it a little bit during my live last night, but I really wanted to make a standalone video about it so that we could really get into the mess. I also want to say this is a reason why I get upset that Bravo films the reunion shows so early because I would kill to hear what Robin has to say about all this. Now, I've been hearing all the theories about, well, Robin and Juan only got married so that she can't testify against him. In this case, you guys already know about that scandal regarding Juan and Copen State. If you haven't seen my video on that, definitely check it out because I broke that all the way down. And again, that is a hot raggedy mess. But I want to start off this video by just saying that in my personal opinion, I have always felt like Robin should have moved on a long time ago. And while I don't know Robin or Juan personally, their relationship, their dynamic, it has always felt one-sided where she wants him and he's just checked out and over it. Again, just my assessment. I feel like Robin would be the type to turn a blind eye if he is still cheating. Now, I have seen a few Robin fans disputing all this and saying that these receipts aren't valid because the woman doesn't want to show her face, but... I beg to differ because Juan cheated on Robin when they were married the first time. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could cheat again. And there's been so much scandal and so much smoke around their entire relationship since they've gotten on this show. I would not be surprised if this woman is telling the truth. Now let's break down the TikTok video. This woman reached out to Giorgio Says and she claims that she and Juan were in a relationship for over a year during COVID and that Robin knows all about it. And she said that Robin just didn't want her to make this public. Wow, I guess living in Maryland helps because I was just reached out to by someone who allegedly dated Juan during the end of COVID for over a year. Let's talk about it. So this user who will stay anonymous reached out to me and basically let me know that she dated Juan for over a year during COVID. She sent me a screenshot of where she tagged her location just so that I knew that she was telling the truth. She did mention that Robin does know, but asked her to not make it public, obviously. I'm gonna stop right here. This absolutely sounds like something that Robin would do. Again, do I know Robin personally? No, but based on her actions around Juan, I have always felt like Robin has a lot of mouth to the other women, but when it comes to Juan, she's all meek and mild, all quiet as a church mouse. I get that impression that she walks on eggshells around him. So I would not be surprised if she knows about Juan having affairs and she chooses to keep quiet and just say, well, as long as it's not public and as long as you don't embarrass me, then we're good. That's the impression that I get. Now the woman shows the last text message between her and Juan and it was in January of last year. She also shared the very last text message that he sent her, which was on January 26th of 2022. So just a little bit almost a year ago at this point. Now in the TikTok video, we see the close up of the hotel invoice. She also shared a hotel invoice, which I have taken out a lot of the personal information because it did have Juan's personal info. So I've taken that out, but everything else on here is pretty much a normal invoice. This is a real hotel in Maryland. And I believe she was going to send this to producers, but I think she just didn't want to get caught in the crossfire because obviously Robin knows about this and didn't want her to make it public. And no shade. I'm not even trying to be funny. But I said he couldn't have taken her to the Ritz-Carlton or the Intercontinental. <laughs> Juan, you couldn't have shelled out for a five-star hotel. 
You have the audacity to be a cheater and then cheap on top of that. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. The invoice clearly shows Juan's name on it. Here's a close up of the invoice. You can see Juan Dixon's name is on it. I saw a lot of Robin fans saying that they don't believe it. Anybody could type up an invoice. And I mean, while that's true, who really has the time to do that? Now this woman alleges that the reason why she stopped messing with Juan was Juan likes to do some strange things according to her. He messes with girls and then when he's done with them, he'll pass them off to his other friends. She also claimed that the reason why she stopped messing around with him was because he likes to, I guess, meet girls and I guess, have his way with them, but then pass them off to his friends, um, which kind of sounds like ST to me a little bit. Um, it's giving that vibe. Now, hearing the part about one of Juan's friends coming to the hotel room after they were done, and he exposed himself to her and told her, allegedly, like, okay, now it's time for you to do whatever to me. And she said that she got freaked out, and she said, oh, no. And she flew herself back home. She also said that one of the friends who she did send me who this person was, um came to her hotel room door when they, I guess, were going to take her back to the ho uh, to the airport to fly back. And she says that the friend exposed himself and said that she needed to, you know, fill in the blank. So that scared her, that turned her off. And so she went back home and she stopped all communication with him. Now, hearing this, I was disgusted because that is just so, it's degrading. And on top of that, I can only imagine how she felt. To have your friend come to the door after we're finished and he's talking about, okay, you know, now it's time for you to, like, excuse me? If this is true, then it's clear that Juan has no respect for women. And on top of that, why are you doing this when you know that your wife is on national TV, on one of the hottest reality shows, defending your relationship and you're out here with other women and then passing them on to your friends like you're not thinking but this is crazy i'm still digging up some stuff but i wanted to throw this out there because it does seem like things don't look as they appear on tv at least from what people are telling me. And this specific person didn't really seem to care if she was kept anonymous because she was just tired of, I guess, seeing the fakeness on TV. But let me know your thoughts as always. Now, here are my final thoughts about this. For one, this story getting out is going to ensure that Juan never shows his face on the show ever again. And second, Robin will have a concrete storyline for season eight. I've seen the blog reports about Robin's gonna quit after this season because of what's going on with the whole case and Wong's school. A part of me could see Robin quitting the show, but there is a part of me that feels like the fame and the money is just too good to pass up. And I am willing to bet that Bravo probably will offer her a really nice check for her to come back and discuss all this mess for season eight. Like I said, I have always felt like their dynamic was a mess. I didn't forget in season two when Robin and Juan were in that townhouse having a heated argument and Juan went off to the side and said to the producer that if it weren't for the kids, he would have been out a long time ago. Now, Robin, the next time you wanna expose Karen and Blue Eyes, Make sure that all of Juan's women are quiet, okay? Because according to Giorgio Says, he made another TikTok video saying that there are more women in his DMs with their stories about Juan Dixon. But guys, all in all, a very messy situation. I'm sure in the coming days, we're gonna hear more stories from more women and there will be more receipts. And I'm willing to bet that one of these women is just waiting for the right payday to show her face and show pictures of her and Juan together. Robin, if you wanna make this work for you, make some money off of this story. You should request a one-on-one -on -one with you and Andy Cohen where Andy's asking you about all these scandals coming out and you just tell the truth. And I'm sure that that would be a big payday. Bling, bling, bling.
Bitches is mad. <laughs> And now it really makes sense why you were hell bent on putting that infidelity clause in that prenup. And I really hope that you didn't change your mind and I hope you made him sign it. But guys, just my two cents about this whole thing. Thought I would come on and talk about it quickly. Let me know your thoughts. I'm dying to hear. And you guys already know what to do. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye.